in this lesson, we're going to start to learn about the different stock exchanges and start to talk about some basic language of the stock market. First thing I want to start with is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So come in here with me, Sam. This is a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Keep in mind that I am showing you charts of the U.S. equities. This might be different for you overseas people. Doesn't matter. A chart is a chart. You're still going to be able to trade any single stock that you can think of. So what is the Dow Jones Industrial Average? It is the thing that is most talked about when people talk about the stock exchange. This is what your Uber driver talks about. And he'll say, hey, guys, did you see? Dow Jones Industrial was up 100 points today. Most people don't even know what it is. It's made up of 30 stocks, 30 of the biggest blue chip companies, Caterpillar, IBM, Deere. That's what makes up the Dow Jones Industrial Average. For us, as day traders, put a line through it. We could care less about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. There are many days during the day where I'm trading. At the end of the day, someone will ask me how the market did today. I have no idea because we do not follow the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Why? It only has 30 stocks in it. It's not giving us a big enough view of what the overall market is doing. So if we're not watching the Dow Jones Industrial Average, what are we watching? What we have to watch and pay attention to at all times is what we call the Standard & Poor's 500. And for obvious reasons, here is a chart of the Standard & Poor's 500. This gives us a much better view of what the overall market is doing. It has 500 stocks in it. And as a matter of fact, the Standard & Poor's 500 is something that you must have up on your charts all day long. Generally speaking, when the Standard & Poor's 500 is going up, we want to be buying stocks and be long stocks. And when the Standard & Poor's 500 is going down, we want to be short stocks, which brings me to my first extremely important lesson in day trading. There's an old saying on Wall Street that the trend is your friend, and it could not be more important in day trading. When stocks are going up, we want to be long stocks and we never want to fight the trend. I'll tell you this right now, the only way you will ever lose a lot of money on a trade is if a stock is going down and you keep buying it and buying it and buying it. We call that trying to catch a falling knife. It never works. So don't ever keep buying or selling a stock. Try to find the trend of the overall market and be with that trend. First very important lesson, the trend is your friend, don't ever fight the trend. So how do we follow the S&P 500? And we do that with what we call an exchange traded fund. An exchange traded fund. So what is an exchange traded fund? It looks and acts exactly like a stock. And in this case, the symbol for the Standard & Poor's 500 is the SPY. Sometimes we call it the spiders, the SPY. As a day trader, this has to be up on your charts all day long. So an exchange traded fund, what it is, it represents an entire group of stocks. So rather than trading one or two individual stocks, if we can figure out the overall trend of the market, we can just trade one stock rather than being in a 10 different places. They have exchange traded funds for every industries of stocks. And I want to talk about a couple of them because they're important. Let's talk about GLD, which is the exchange traded fund for gold. This actually tracks the physical price of gold. So rather than picking an individual gold stock, we can just trade the GLD and we'll be trading the actual price of gold. There are probably two or three hundred exchange traded funds that we can pick from that encompass all the different areas of the stock market. One more important one that I want to talk about, and I want to talk about this for a couple of minutes. This is an important one, guys. This is SVXY. What the SVXY measures is the fear index in the market. So what does that mean? What it means is when this stock, the SVXY, is going up, that is what we call risk on environment. And what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that nobody is really afraid that this market is going down. So that's what the SVXY measures. It's the fear index. And when there's not a lot of fear in the market, this thing will go up. When there's a lot of fear in the market, this stock will start coming down. So this is another very, very important ETF that we keep on our screens all the time. It measures sentiment. It measures what, whether people are scared or not that the market's going to go up or down. That is the SVXY. Extremely, extremely important. Let's talk for a couple of minutes about the different exchanges and what is traded on those exchanges. So the first one that we have, the one that everybody knows about, is the New York Stock Exchange. 
There are about 3,100 stocks that trade on the New York Stock Exchange. After the New York Stock Exchange, we have what we call NASDAQ. NASDAQ was founded in 1971, and it was the first all-electronic market. Never any people involved there. Up until about 1999, early 2000, when I was working on a Florida Stock Exchange, at one point we had 3,500 brokers on a Florida Exchange. If you look at a picture of the Florida Exchange now, there are more news people there than there are people trading the market. I think they're down to like 150 people there. But NASDAQ was the first all-electronic market. There were never any people trading there. About 3,900 uh, stocks trade on NASDAQ. And then we have the American Stock Exchange, or the Amex. Most of these ETFs that we just talked about are traded on the American Stock Exchange. One way you can kind of get a quick glimpse as to what stocks you're trading where, most stocks on the New York Stock Exchange are going to have three symbols in their name, like a caterpillar. When you see a stock with three symbols, you're trading on the New York Stock Exchange. Most stocks that have four symbols, Apple. When you see a stock that has four symbols, you are trading on a NASDAQ exchange. The NASDAQ exchange is very heavily weighted towards tech stocks. Apple, you have your Google, you have your Amazon. Very heavily weighted towards tech stocks. So that's how we know kind of what exchanges that we're trading on. So I want to review the most important things that we talked about in this lesson. Number one, Dow Jones Industrial Average, do not look at it. It doesn't mean anything to us. Let your Uber driver talk about it. Not important. Standard & Poor's 500, the most important index. Let's put it up again, the spiders. This must be watched all day long. This is going to give us the general direction of the market. And most importantly, what we talked about in this lesson, is the trend is your friend. Do not fight the trend. I cannot tell you how many people have gone through their trading accounts thinking they have picked the bottom of a stock or thinking they have found the top of a stock. It doesn't work that way. We're going to teach you exactly where to put your orders in to buy and sell stocks. But one thing you will never do as a day trader is keep buying a stock as it's going down or keep shorting a stock as it's going up. Let's move on to the next lesson. Mm -hmm.